innovative Luxor Wireless Linking Module provides an easy, convenient, and reliable method for expanding FX Luminaire Luxor linking systems with no wires required. The Luxor Wireless Linking Module allows wireless communication between primary Luxor controllers and secondary Luxor satellite controllers through LoRa Radio. In this video, we'll share how to program, operate, and install the wireless linking modules needed for each primary Luxor controller and secondary Luxor satellite controller installed on site to ensure a successful setup. The Luxor wireless linking module displays the assigned wireless channel, network ID, chassis ID, and signal strength. The module will cycle through all values when it's powered up. An arrow will indicate which value is being displayed on the LCD. Once all the values have been shown, the LCD will remain on the signal strength reading and continually display the signal strength value. The wireless channel, network ID, and chassis ID are all programmed at the Luxor controller face pack. Get started. Obtain a wireless linking module for each primary Luxor controller and secondary Luxor satellite controller in your system. Next, determine which chassis ID number you want to assign to each Luxor satellite controller. Planning this out ahead of time will help you better analyze system diagnostics later. It's also important to determine which network ID and wireless channel you want to use. All Luxor wireless linking modules on site must have the same network ID and wireless channel for the modules to communicate properly throughout the property. All modules come pre-programmed as chassis ID number 0, network ID 125, wireless channel 10. First, insert the wireless linking module into the linking ports of the system's primary Luxor controller. The primary controller is the Luxor controller with the face pack. Once inserted, scroll to Setup, then to Linking. Next, scroll to the Chassis Number field. This is the same as the Chassis ID. Select your desired Chassis ID using the controller scroll wheel. Note that Chassis 0 should be assigned to the primary Luxor controller. The satellite controllers should be assigned a value from 1 to 10. Perform the same operation for network ID and wireless channel fields. Remember the network ID and wireless channel need to be the same for all modules on site. Once the chassis ID, network ID, and wireless channel values are set, press program to finalize. Repeat this process for the remaining modules. This will complete your programming of the wireless linking modules. To confirm a module's settings in the future, reinsert it into the linking ports on the primary Luxor controller. Scroll to Setup, then to Linking, and press Read. The module settings will be displayed in the chassis number, network ID, and wireless channel fields. After you program the wireless linking modules, mount one module on the bottom cabinet of each primary Luxor controller and secondary Luxor satellite controller. To mount a module to the cabinet at the bottom of a controller, first remove the nut. Insert the module wire through the hole on the bottom of the cabinet, then place it back over the wire. Use the nut to tighten the module into place. Once secured, insert the module wire into one of the controller's linking ports. It does not matter which port is selected. An optional cover helps protect the module screen from the elements. Use the supplied plastic remote mount. Select a location to install the module. Before securing it in place, remove the nut from the module and insert the wire through the top of the mount. Tighten the module into the mount. Once secure, screw the mount into the desired location with the supplied screws.
Finally, insert the module wire into one of the controller's linking ports. It does not matter which port is selected. An optional cover helps protect the module screen from the elements. Once the wireless linking modules are installed and the controllers are powered on, you'll see the signal strength displayed on the module's LCD screens. The signal strength is a real-time reading and can change periodically based on local conditions. The ideal signal strength is 80 plus. Diagnostics such as communication status, load percentage, and signal strength can be read directly from the primary Luxor controller face pack. To enter the diagnostic screen, press the home and back arrow buttons simultaneously. The primary Luxor controller and all satellite controllers 1 through 10 will be listed on the screen. Wireless chassis numbers can be found by scrolling to the right. The chassis numbers listed on the screen correspond to the controller numbers assigned on the wireless module, which is set at the programming step described earlier in this video. The primary Luxor controller will always be listed as wired chassis zero. This same diagnostic information will also appear on the home screen of the primary Luxor controller face pack during operation when the lights are powered on. If lights for a satellite controller are not turning on as expected after you install the wireless linking module, remove the module from the satellite controller and insert it into the linking port of the primary Luxor controller. Perform a read function on the module as described earlier in this video and confirm that the wireless channel and network ID values match the values set for the wireless module installed of the primary Luxor controller. If needed, reprogram the module with the correct values. Luxor linking provides a single point of control to simplify management of multiple controllers required for large or complex installations. For reliable, wire-free communication, install Luxor wireless linking modules in your system. For more information about Luxor wireless linking modules, download the installation guide at fxl.com.